Welcome into my studio this morning, everyone. I'm going to show you what I have so far for my new Patreon shop drop, my collection of mugs. Uh, for this drop, I'm doing book-themed mugs and dragon-themed mugs. So, so far, I have six of the large mugs done. So why don't we take a look at each one of them. Also, this is the first time I've opened up my diamond tools, and they've been really fun. This one's super, super detailed. I've been able to do some of the really thin details. The carving on this one's been really nice. I carved um, this mug here with it. Uh, I'll go through each one of them. And then the little detail carving's nice. I did some carving on this mug with it. Okay, so why don't we just start from the beginning. How about we do our dragons first? This is so exciting. <laughs> I've been wanting to show you the full set. Although there will be a couple more of them coming, but why don't we just look at what I have so far. Okay. And look at this gorgeous beauty. It's a dragon that lives underwater. I have to look up the name again. I think it's a Rin Gen or something like that. We've got the little fish. This is in a stained glass window. I have my studio window open so you're going to hear some traffic. There's my little jellyfish. There's some flame. There's little fishes and starfish. And then here's the beautiful kind of seahorse-like body of a dragon. On this one, I played around with the scales forming, revealing, and concealing coming and going. So we'll have like scales and then they'll disappear into the jewel tones and the scales and they disappear again. So pretty. I really like this one. And I've been loving the stained glass look. Okay, so that's one dragon. Let's look at the Nindhog. I posted the video up for this one. This one's got little hearts for embellishments on the stained glass window. Crawling around on that tree and the roots for the portal to the underworld. Lovely. And then on this one, I took some elements of star and night and sky. So there's like little stars shining that come and go like again here. There's little moons and clouds and stars. There's another patch of it. All tangled up. So pretty. Okay. Then we've got the last mug that I completed. What's I always have to look the name up on this one. The Zimmy Glory Neck. I haven't done story time for the two blue mugs yet, but I will. This one's got gorgeous big flower heads with leaves on in the background and then I did that graffito carving with the P16 which was lovely. I really, uh, what I really found that I liked is that you can, see how I angled it just a little? You can move the diamond core head a little to find the right angle and that's, that's really nice. The tools I was using before I couldn't do that. So we've got three heads with little flames of fire, some horns, and beautiful detailing, lots of stars. And then this is my favorite part. I just love the tail with the flowers. It's really nice. Okay. Yee, it's so fun, right? <laughs> oh, this is all the speckled clay. So here, I did two little mugs just to test out the colors and everything, and that's this is the clay that's going to be, so it'll be stunning. There'll be a little, very light layer of speckles coming through the underglaze and the glaze. It's a uh, Canadian clay. Okay, now let's do our book mugs. I'll do them in order of when I made them. We have the library girl or the study girl. I'm still kind of deciding on the names of these. I'm not totally sure what to call them, but study mugs, 
maybe. <laughs> there's so much going on, it's hard to say everything, but there's a lot. We've got some shoes, shoes falling off, we have all the books. She's reading a romance novel with some French lace and her beautiful hair and the bow. We have the plant and the kitty with the jawbreakers, lavender cookies, lily of the valley. Kitty on the stool by the flame. We have a little scared mouse with a bow in its tail. There's another little mouse right there. Lots of plants. Oh, that's my beautiful um, artist bracket showstopper vase in the background. I think I put that on every single study mug. Okay. Gorgeous. And then we did Book Boy. Book Boy is like probably one of my favorites. I don't know. I feel like they're all my favorites, but Book Boy is so sweet. Growing some plants up there with a little water pitcher. Some sweet pea. Or actually, oh, that's grape. That's a grape vine. The sweet peas later. Mm, it's so pretty, right? Tea and cake and chipmunks and apples and glasses. And Book Boy is so sweet and he's got trousers with striped socks. There's a couple of my art pieces there for the vases. We have a swan with, how do you say it again? An anemone flower <laughs> with a bow. We have those little birds, blowers. There's the yellow vase again. Watch the sweet pea. A nice little tray down here for eating some delectable. So pretty, oh my god, I love it. Love it. I cannot wait to paint these. <sighs> nice, huh? Chase Lounge. Okay, then we have the last one. Another study girl. We've got a plum tree, which when I looked up online, the plum tree flowers are beautiful. They look like, um, look like, what are those? Cherry blossoms. They look like cherry blossoms. But I didn't do the flowers. I just did the little plums. Um, we got a little pillow for the cat. Um, a nectarines. Heart blossom apples. I like her boot buttons. That was really fun to make. And then we've got cupcakes, piles of books, cookies. Some nice tea with a little lemon wedge, a straw. We got a little bunny up there, some butterflies hinting at the butterflies to come. Reading a uh, smutty newspaper. Good, she's lounge set up here. Cherries. A fork, a book. There's the yellow vase. And then I love this part right here. We have the kitty in the little um, butterfly garden with a kitty pillow and a butterfly plant. Some little hearts and our candy shelf. I love this one. <laughs> it's so pretty, huh? Another little cozy cat down there. That was really, really, really fun to make. Okay, so far, these are the six large mugs that are going to be in the Patreon shop drop. Also, big news is that I'm moving my Patreon shop drop down a little bit. I took a poll and I asked everyone um, what the next size mug they would like in this um, in this shop, and the most popular option was the medium tumbler, which is like um, like a little bit smaller than this. Let's see if I have any medium tumblers to show you. Oh, here's one. So the medium tumbler option was the one that won out. So um, I just need a little more time with those. They're a little more involved, so I'm pushing the shot back. And I thought I might need more time anyways. I want to get a few more of the large mugs in. And I still want to do the coaster. So we're going to push the shot back to June 12th. And I'm going to work on a set of the medium mugs, coasters, and maybe a couple more of the large mugs. 
and I'll keep you updated. I'm so excited. These are going to be ridiculous. I can't wait to show you all these beautiful pieces when they come out of the kiln. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.